uh, Emily Anderson lesson. This is uh, a swing with we'd, we'd worked on some angles trying to get the club coming in a bit better, coming into impact. So a little bit around going back here, but the loop back around is really perfect. So the shaft of the club gets nicely back on line here. It stays pretty close on line. The last second here, it drops under, then it rotates back over. So one of the big things we've been working on here with Emily is to try and get the shaft of the club. So I try to get the arms to rotate and turn over more through the impact zone. So that's more of a draw feel. And that's something I want Emily to continue working on, really trying to get those arms working through impact. I'm just gonna let this play because Emily wants to see this swing here on video for future reference. Okay, it looks really good. My swing from the front view here is a little bit long than what we want longer than what we're after. That right hand now is looking weaker than what, what it has been before. And that's one of the things we've been working on to help not the, to help stop the ball hooking so much. And we can see through impact, here coming through impact, the club, arms and hands, everything rotates through impact pretty good. Left arm here is still blocking a bit more than what we want. And that's one of the reasons why we're trying to get to while we're trying to get the arms to continue rotating on through impact. So we want to try and get some of this look out of impact with the left arm, left. Uh, so you can see how high the left shoulder still is at this point. Then it finally flips over and turns over here. So your arms can't hold off anymore when they fold and turn over nicely. We want that fold and turn over to happen just a little bit sooner after impact. The reason why it's there so much is because of the is because of the uh, the grip being a bit stronger than what we're after. It's the best, best I've seen you swing there, Emily. Well done.